Can unneutered males live and eat together without fighting? In this video, I show how I use raw feeding as a tool to develop a healthy pack hierarchy. Enjoy. Also, for those who will ask, yes, my dogs live in the house. They are merely in the kennel, so I can shoot the intro to the video. That right there are eight beautiful fish, some uh, golden pompano and some tilapia. And that's my blue bay or my German Shepherd uh, Lobo. From left to right, we have my Lycan Shepherd Ulu, year-old Renaissance Bulldog Magi, blue bay Shepherd Kurgan, and uh, year-old uh, Renaissance Bulldog Cracker. This is going to be a uh, mukbang video, a uh, hackbang video, as I've coined. I hope you enjoy it. I use these to help uh, develop and uh, maintain a uh, healthy pack hierarchy. It also teaches my dogs uh, good coping skills. And uh, it allows me to be here in those situations so I can monitor it and step in if something needs to be done. Distribute the fish. For those who will ask, why is Lobo loose? Well, the dogs are locked up. Well, Lobo is the oldest, and uh, age has its privileges here. Now for those uh, who will make uh, hyperbolic statements in my uh, comments uh, talking about how I'm going to kill my dogs, feeding them fish bones, uh, I keep those to yourself. I've, I've been doing this for over 20 years. Animals, uh, mammals of all sizes uh, consume fish bones in the wild with absolutely no issues. It's only cooked bones that are dangerous. Raw bones are uh, perfectly safe for your dogs. Again, uh, I'm a former animal warden. I've fed raw for over 20 years and never an issue. I've left also uh, plenty of vet links in the video description that'll give you the facts regarding that. So again, if you disagree with what I'm doing, that's okay. Uh, but, but keep the comments to yourself. Just a stack of three of them over here. Excuse me, sweetheart. Hey, Wrecker. Wrecker. Now, as I say in all my videos, I like to handle and touch my dogs when they're eating. I feel it's very important uh, as a former animal warden. I used to take bite reports from uh, people uh, that were bitten by dogs and deal with the biting dogs. You can see I can touch all around her mouth and everything else while she's eating. For those who ask, well, how come you don't grab and take it? Well, it's raw fish and I'm filming. And here's Kurgan also. Again, touching all around his mouth. Again, it's very important, uh, especially if you have children, to desensitize your dogs to uh, people touching them when they're eating. And here's Wrecker. He was that dog that was extremely food aggressive in those uh, puppy videos of mine. You can see I can do whatever I want, and he's not aggressive at all anymore. And uh, same with Magi here. And we'll demonstrate with Lobo as well. See again, touching by his mouth, everything else.
Wrecker's uh, Renaissance Bulldog. It's a line of uh, athletic working to Bulldog I've been developing for over 25 years. I've got some links in the video description if you'd like to learn more about them. Magi also is a Renaissance Bulldog. You don't have to worry about raw food bacteria. With dogs, 36% uh, of dogs carry salmonella as a natural part of their gut flora. They have uh, stronger digestive juices and a shorter G-track than we do, making them biologically designed to deal with raw food. Uh, do you see how smart Kurgan is? He already had a food, a fish there sitting next to him, but he saw Magi's partially eaten fish here and went and got that and brought it back to his other one. Bulldogs always get junk all over their face when they're eating. That's Kurgan saying those are his two pieces of fish. Now Magi has a fish over there. I mean, uh, Ulu already has a fish, but she's looking around and trying to find another one to put by hers also. Her and Kurgan are much smarter than the Bulldogs. Now don't feel sorry for the dogs that don't get as much food here. They will get other food later on today. This is a pack feeding exercise and not their full meal. You know, they'll get some uh, organ meat and a little bit of fruits and vegetables and that. If you want to see what a typical meal looks like, I have tons of videos showing that in my raw food playlist. Just go take a look. what happened there nobody was hurt that was Wrecker saying hey you're not eating this piece I'll take it you've already had one you're on your second and again these are two unneutered males you're seeing here and you saw absolutely no fight there at all that was just uh, canine language and that's why I do this it teaches these dogs good coping skills and that uh, I feel transfers uh, to a lot of uh, their encounters off leash with other dogs. I have uh, several videos demonstrating that when they come across poorly socialized dogs, it doesn't automatically escalate into a fight. They've learned how to deal with those situations and their flight and 
fight response isn't stimulated immediately when that type of stuff happens. And that's how things are conducted in a healthy pack. You very rarely have fights uh, where animals are getting hurt. It's mostly mock behavior like what you saw here. And biologically that makes sense. I mean, uh, you, you, you can't have uh, team members constantly fighting and hurting each other. And that's ultimately what a pack is. It's a team. But you know, don't take my word for it. I'm just some guy on YouTube. That's just my opinion. Based on uh, 30 years experience working with animals, I, I freely admit uh, that it's all bro science. So, uh, you know, basically learned intuitively uh, by me. I'm very good at reading animals and people. And uh, these are just my conclusions after a, a lot of time doing this type of stuff. You'll find lots of uh, people and trainers who disagree with me, and there are plenty of different ways to do things. I don't pass myself off as a professional trainer. I'm just showing you what I do and explaining why I, why I do it. Again, you have two unneutered males eating side by side here with no issue. There's a third unneutered male there who's done eating. One big happy family. And these videos are all raw footage. They're not cut. There's no splices in it. You're seeing exactly what happens. Got a little bit of her winter coat that she's still blowing on her rear legs there. So AJ saying those are my crumbs on the ground. Get away from them. Well, there you have it. That's the end of our uh, Pac Bang video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. If you liked it a lot, you'll get uh, email notifications when my new videos come out. I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers and say uh, thanks to all of you who've been uh, supporting me along the way. Bye from me.
the lovely Miss Magi. Rackman. Lulu. Lobo. And of course, Mr. Kurgan. See ya.